All right, let's talk. Let's talk about this impeachment of Joe Biden, and think of it in the context. Well, a couple things. In the context of the 2024 election, Donald Trump's approval rating within the Republican Party peaked during his first impeachment. His support within the party peaked during his first impeachment. The highest polling numbers that Bill Clinton had within his party was when he was being impeached. And now House Republicans are have an impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden. One added benefit that Joe Biden has is that there's absolutely no factual basis for House Republicans to impeach him. Democrats had evidence when they impeached Donald Trump. When Republicans impeached Bill Clinton, they had evidence that he lied under oath. He did that. And Donald Trump did what he was accused of doing. House Republicans have been investigating Joe Biden for nine months. Special Counsel David Weiss has been investigating Hunter Biden and all of Hunter Biden's taxes, finances, and overseas earnings for more than five years. The DOJ and the FBI under Donald Trump got Hunter Biden's laptop 11 months before Election Day 2020. Bill Barr said there's nothing on it. House Republicans have absolutely no factual basis whatsoever to impeach Joe Biden. So it's going to improve his polling numbers at a critical time. I mean, we're 14 months out from the election. Now, the impeachment inquiry itself, Kevin McCarthy had the wisdom to put Jim Jordan and James Comer in charge of it. Yeah, those are my guys. I want them. <laughs> oh. I, it's a gift. It's an absolute gift. Because at some point, these, these three committees, Comer on oversight, Jordan in the Judiciary and the Weaponization of Government Committee, and the guy who's in charge of the Ways and Means Committee, the way impeachment works is those committees are going to have to draft a document. They're going to have to draft articles of impeachment. And think about it this way. It's going to have to be their version of like Jack Smith's indictment of Donald Trump, either out of D.C. or Mar-a-Lago. It, it, it's a charging document. It has to contain facts. It has to contain evidence. Evidence that substantiates the allegations. These same committee chairmen have been investigating Joe Biden and Hunter Biden for nine months, and they have no facts. They have found no evidence. And what exactly do they think they're gonna turn up now that they haven't already looked for? So they're gonna to have to draft this document, this articles of impeachment that has to get voted out of committee, meaning the committee has to go, yep, I'm voting for that. And then it has to go to the House. Kevin McCarthy just this week was 30 or 35 votes down in his own, caucus, his own caucus to pass the impeachment inquiry, just saying, hey, let's just look at this stuff. He was down 30, 35 votes in his own caucus to open the inquiry. And at some point, I have no doubt that the committees are going to pass this bill or pass this this document, this articles of impeachment. They're going to write it. It's going to make it out of committee. And then it's going to be presented to the House. And that vote will fail. That vote will fail spectacularly. <clears throat> and Biden's poll numbers will just keep going up and up and up and up. 
and imagine the reactions of the Freedom Caucus and the MAGA base and Donald Trump when a Republican-controlled House won't adopt articles of impeachment of Joe Biden. This whole thing is a farce. And look at it in the context of Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney resigned this, or well, he didn't resign. He announced he's not going to run for re-election this week. His book is coming out with all kinds of revelations in it. And, and he is speaking very eloquently, basically, about the verdict of history, the judgment of history. He's taken a very long view on all of this stuff. And it's like the verdict of history. House Republicans aren't even thinking ahead to the verdict of next week. This is all going to blow up in their faces spectacularly and backfire unimaginably badly for them. It's just a question of when. And five weeks from now, we're going to be watching the trial of Kenneth Cheesebro and Sidney Powell and Donald Trump's crimes are going to get eight hours of live coverage every single day out of that courtroom and eight more hours every night on cable news. And they think that this impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden with no evidence is going to drown that out. Insane. <laughs>